Hello and welcome back to another episode on the Minecraft Handbook. Now today we are back over by the villagers, obviously if you didn't see last episode I'd highly recommend um, learning about what we did. We did a villager breeder as you can see they're breeding at this moment. Um, there we go, we've got a tiny little villager who's probably going to get knocked into the water stream, um, especially if we knock him in there. <laughs> uh, Alright, so obviously today is episode 30 and one of the things I wanted to work on was getting some of the villagers trading. Um, and obviously we're not going to use the ones in the breeder because we need them all here. Um, however, if we go down um, out this farm area and down this way, as you can see obviously we've got the pathway set up, uh, this villager's going to fall down here and he's going to join the rest of his family that's all kind of growing up down in this area. Um, let's try not to uh, jump against the block. Um, so yeah, as you can see I've got a whole bunch of them stu stuck in here and I've got these lecterns set up um, in order to get these villagers to turn into librarians and then you know obviously I've been trying to trade with them and I'm obviously looking for the ever elusive mending book as mending allows us to use XP to repair our tools it's what we've got on our pickaxe which is super useful um, and bits like that now I'm gonna throw some of this sugar cane in here just to uh, clear it out of my inventory as it's getting a little bit annoying just sat there but as you can see uh, since last episode I've not only expanded this this so we have all of these dropping in here but I've also built this room so the idea of this room is going to be it's going to be like a trader hall style thing um i'm not just going to make it this kind of section i will make it much bigger than this and obviously we'll be able to have tons and tons of villages in here um but the idea is i just want to get it started so we can get these villages in and hopefully we might find a mending book one day obviously that's not necessarily the aim that we'll do it this episode um it might be something that i do off camera but certainly building it is going to be something that I want to do this episode. So I've got myself my shulker boxes. I'm going to throw that one there and I'm going to throw that one there. More so this one is important for this as, yeah, we've got a whole bunch of resources. Um, I'm thinking I'm thinking a birch floor. Um, that could be kind of nice to build with. So we'll do that. And then I'll make it free wide for the main section, I think. Um, so let's do the whole thing like that. And then you may be wondering why I'm leaving the middle bit empty. Um, I'm not sure if I want to build that in birch or add a different texture in the middle. Uh, I'm certainly going to be putting glowstone in there, um, which I think would be pretty cool. I'm going to line it up with where the torches are now, just so it's kind of like an even interval of every, uh, every three blocks there'll be one. Um, there we go, awesome. Uh, I'm thinking I might throw some cobble in the middle actually. Uh, that could look quite nice. Um, it just depends if I get through here without letting all of the villagers uh, absolutely swamp me. Um, right, yeah, let's grab that. Uh, and then go this side. And we'll just throw this in place. Uh, now I know it's not necessarily the prettiest looking. I may change the design. Um, no, I think this is fine for now. Uh, let's just take a look at it lengthways. Yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, I'm sure um, that will be alright to continue with. Um, right, there we go. Let's just fill all of this side in at least. Um, so we can get working on this side. Um, so yeah, it's kind of cool. Uh, obviously, I'm not just going to have... Um, librarians throughout the whole of this um, system however in this room bit that I've got going now it probably will be dedicated to librarians um, just because I think that they're probably the most uh, valuable to us in terms of resource scattering at the moment um, I'm gonna place these in every other block uh, yeah yeah, that is what I'm going to do. <laughs> I had to think about it, so that's going to go there. And I haven't actually picked up enough, by me. Um, I try not to use too much spruce, I guess, because obviously uh, that is the main building block um, for our base. But I do like the texture of spruce quite a lot. And so, uh, yeah, it's going to be used a fair amount. Um, let's just get these bits in. Awesome, that worked out fairly well. Right, then we just need to build up the walls either side. I don't want to do um, spruce in there. I definitely need to 
I know I have some oak stairs, those are going to be useful. Um, there's nothing in here though I can really use. Um, hmm. Okay, maybe we will use uh, spruce planks on the inside, like so. Oh, no, I didn't mean to place <laughs> that in there. Uh, we can just go on this side now and just go around like this. Awesome. And I will place in the torches again on the insides of every cell. Um, <laughs> obviously it's going to be like a, it's almost like a villager jail at this point. Um, we're holding them hostage until they trade with us. Uh, <laughs> Right, let's let's get the rest of this in. Um, there we go. Awesome. And then torches need to go uh, there, half there. Are we gonna run out of torches? Uh, <laughs> right. Have we got any more in here? Oh, we suddenly do. Awesome. Uh, that go in there, and just make sure that we've got torches in every area. Um, awesome. So let's throw in the oak stairs. Uh, so obviously, this is going to be one of the things that stops them from escaping. Um, there we go, awesome. And then I think on the inside, hmm, I'm actually going to remove these blocks and I'm going to place in cobble like. So, there we go, awesome. Um, there we go. I'm not so worried about that top block actually because I'm not going to be able to see that from out here. Um, I could have gone with all stone but I don't have the stone to do it on every block So, and I don't fancy crafting up some furnaces. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be alright with using cobble. Uh, Right, there we go. It also obviously limits the block palette. Um, I don't want too many blocks in my block palette. I'm um, trying to keep it very much between three main blocks for design. Um, as I've always, obviously otherwise, uh, you get an oversaturation of different styles of blocks and then it, the build doesn't really come together as well. So I'm kind of happy with um, using cobble to be honest. Um, yeah, obviously I'm going to do this side and get it completely done and then obviously I'll cut away um, you know, I'm not going to do both sides on camera, as that'd be kind of wasteful um, for me to do. Uh, come on, there we go. And then just this last one. Awesome. Um, I should probably throw in the bits like that. Uh, yeah, I don't have any more spruce on me. <laughs> awesome. Um, there we go, one, two, three. Uh, and then just run to this side again. Bang, bang, and there we go, awesome. So these are pretty much set up now. Um, obviously we've got a torch to keep them all lit up, you know, bits like that. Um, so, yeah, uh, as you can see, I've got these lecterns set up, which will be placed inside here. I'll probably have them facing me, to be honest. I think they'll look pretty cool, because they'll still be able to use it. Um, bits like that, but I've essentially now got to trap all of the villagers inside of um, each cell. Um, so, have we got any? Got a little bit of iron on us, but nothing. Uh, nothing really worthwhile. Okay. Um, my other option is to use boats. Oh, how's that gonna be? I should probably make some more lecterns first of all. Anyway. Um, as I need to make sure that I've got enough. Uh, right, so we're going to make ourselves, if we just get a whole bunch like that, and make ourselves 13 lecterns, that's good enough for now, I think. Um, and then we'll make ourselves a boat. Right. No, oh, okay. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> um, I don't want both of them getting in the boat. You know, that's a slight issue. Okay, um, we can fix this. If I break this, it will mean that they start running into here. Ah, uh, oh, poo. Come on. Ok, 
Okay, man, get in the boat. Does no one want to get in the boat? What if I like sneak up to you nicely? Are you gonna get in the boat now? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's place it down like here. Uh, what? There we go. Can I? Oh. Oh, and I've just hit a villager as well. That's not good. Um. <laughs> right. Someone get in the boat. Go on. Get in. Right. Awesome. And then we just need to go around here. And can we get through that block? No, we can't. Ah. Okay, we're going to have to use minecarts, I think, as this is going to be an extremely frustrating uh, mode of doing things otherwise. So I'm going to grab some iron and get that going. Um, so I will see you guys in a sec. And so, guys, I've actually uh, completed both sides now and started to fill in all of what I started. I filled in all of the slots, I believe, now, um, besides the last one, which I wanted to do on camera with you guys. Um, so in order to do it, obviously, I've had to place in the uh, type of block, which tran uh, converts them to whichever one we want. Um, obviously, I had these rails in place as uh, it just makes transporting them across so much easier. Um, let's get this one in. There we go. Place the composter and then just catch the edge of the minecart. And there we go. Awesome. So that's all of them in place. Obviously all of this side are librarians, as obviously our main target here is to get the mending book, but in order to get a steady supply of emeralds we've got the Fletchers and the Farmers. So the Farmers, you can trade a lot of things like wheat, potatoes, carrots, beetroots, um, I think further down the line you can um, trade things like flums, things of bread, um, pumpkins, melons, so those will definitely be good for us given our automatic farms. And then if we look at Fletchers, you can do things like sticks, which obviously we can make from bamboo. Um, what have we got in here? Uh, those are for getting flint, that's not very helpful. But as you can see, um, obviously a lot of them are sticks, so I'm going to grab tons of bamboo and bits like that. And yeah, I think basically what I've now got to do is um, actually just throw in that so we don't have baby villagers running around in here. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the base. Um, I'm going to grab myself uh, probably a couple shulker boxes worth of stuff we can trade for emeralds so then we get a whole bunch of emeralds um, piled up and then we can start trading with all of these villagers just to try and get them um, to see if we can get a mending book. I can't remember whereabouts it is, I think it's one of these ones, this one here. I've unlocked all of their trades and there's not really anything um, good so I am tempted to uh, just... Um, get rid of him <laughs> as in like build a little tunnel that carries on going with the uh, minecart rails into maybe a pit of lava somewhere far away that it doesn't th these friends don't see and then give me terrible trades you know because that would that would also be bad um uh, <laughs> but yeah um obviously that's affecting a villager's score um if they die that is a genuine gameplay mechanic if any of you think that i'm just joking about that um <laughs> so yeah um, but yeah, I think I'm going to run and grab myself a whole bunch of stuff um, to fill my shulker boxes with. And then I will come back and start trading with you guys to have a look. So yeah, I'll see you in a sec. Alright, and so whilst I was gone guys, I actually upgraded the farm up there to be um, 8 beds big because I thought that would be you know the most efficient um what i'm also going to do is just grab some food because i seem to have run out but as you can see i've gathered a whole bunch of stuff um i'm first of all going to get this wheat and i'm going to go into the farm and we're going to trade with the farmers um now this obviously isn't pivotal um but i'm just going to try and find as many that i can give wheat to um just to get their levels up there we go um nope he doesn't trade in wheat um, and this wheat actually I raided from this village. Um, let's just gather the rest of that. And as you can see, their trades unlock some more. Um, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to put away that wheat as we don't need that now. Um, so obviously I've got some carrots as well. I should probably have traded those. Now, was there? Yeah, this one here did exactly 22 carrots as a trade. Um, 
sprite and then obviously we've got tons of sugar cane to do at a later date um, but let's grab a whole bunch of pumpkins um, you know I'm gonna grab this shulker box actually and take it through with me um, as obviously some of these did actually unlock their pumpkin trades um, yeah I've maxed out his pumpkin trade uh, let's wait for him to regen what's he gonna give us now okay so we can do things like melons which I didn't bring with me uh, that was that was foolish of me I should have brought some of those with me um, to do that trade um, let's just max out these guys pumpkin trades though um, as obviously we have an abundance of pumpkins and so it's not a big problem um, and when I say maxing them out it's not like the old system where they're um, indefinitely locked out of those trades um, the great thing is if you go to sleep um, and it's a new day uh, they do actually regen new um, new trades that might be more expensive and bits like that um, but yeah that you can use the same trades as before so we're gonna move on now to the cartographers um, as these wanted sticks so obviously uh, the sticks come from our bamboo um, so that's pretty cool uh, yeah so the first one's over here he doesn't allow for any stick trades um, if I trade all those in what does he unlock eh nothing cool um, it's fine we'll just keep using the stick trade until he no longer wants any sticks um, huh well actually no let's not trade with him anymore yet let's see what the other one's offering um, because obviously this one's offering 32 sticks for a emerald which is kind of cheap obviously the one we just locked ourselves out of uh, he wanted 38 and the key to this is getting the most um, kind of emeralds for your deals um, yeah see he's not really offering anything too cool yet uh, let's keep trading the sticks in um, he's now gonna go Really? I thought he was going to go up in price. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, there we go. Wait for it. He'll regen. 31. Oh, he's not going to even allow it. Okay, that's fine. Um, we'll go down here. And as you can see, we've got a healthy amount of uh, of emeralds already. We've already gone back up to almost two stacks. Um, so it certainly is worth building one of these. Um, just for the point of view of you get to trade with all of these guys and get yourselves tons of emeralds which can be used in like a beacon setup um, obviously I haven't really gone over beacons too much so um, don't worry if you don't know what I'm on about uh, I'm gonna shove that shulker box there for now and then we can move on to possibly uh, the biggest trade that I have going at the moment and that will be the paper trade and actual fact I need a crafting bench in here so um, I'm gonna nick a thing of uh, wood and build myself another crafting bench um, for in here I'll place that one on top of that okay awesome um, let's gather let's gather as much sugar cane as we can and we'll turn all of it into paper um, and yeah as you guys might already know I'm not sure if I showed it earlier uh, these guys love to trade for paper um, and so yeah that's a that's a good trade that we can do to unlock a whole bunch of stuff um, so obviously as you can see it upgrades from novice to I believe the next one is I'm trying to think what it is apprentice that yeah there we go um, and yeah uh, so not only am I gathering tons of emeralds I'm also leveling up the villagers so we unlock their higher trades um, and obviously mending if it's not already unlocked is going to be a higher trade oh, that was kind of expensive but I will do it anyway because we have so much um, paper that it's not so much worry uh, let's burn through it in actual fact we're actually getting quite a lot um, of the paper gone um, I'm surprised right let's keep going um, as you can see we've always got three stacks of emeralds man I cannot believe it uh, <laughs> yeah um, uh, well we burned through quite a lot of sugar cane actually I didn't think we'd burn through quite as much as we did um, yeah cool uh, what kind of trades do you do now nothing too spectacular 
Um, obviously that's the one we already had unlocked. I will. Uh, there's not really much point wasting uh, the experience on him. Let's let's just trade with another one and unlock and see what they get. Um, there we go. And I don't actually have enough to un uh, unlock any more trades. So we didn't even trade through all of these, but you know. Um, hmm. So I want to find some cheap trades to kind of level these guys up. Uh, so let's go. We certainly don't want loads of these. Maybe seven will be enough? No, that's not quite enough. Four more. How does that make it look? Okay. So he doesn't have any more lanterns to give to us. Um, I don't particularly want to do the other trades though, that's annoying. Uh, I don't have any more um, books, I don't think. Uh, do I have any bookshelves? Yes, I do. So I can... Can use the bookshelves. Um, the annoying thing is, you know, the book. Ah, I don't mean to do that. The bookshelves, obviously, um, <laughs> they came from our end um, section in the library. There, I'm not sure that I gathered all of them, so I can go get get more at some point. But you know, it was. Um, oh, he's unlocked his other trades. I'm not too sure they're very useful either. Um, how many? glass can we get uh yeah obviously I can go and get more but I don't really want to have to do that if I can avoid it um yeah I mean those are expensive pieces of glass but it's all in the name of trying to uh gather ourselves um a mending book yeah so he's completely completed all of his trading uh, uh well is it worth it no I don't think it is on that one um let's go here and we'll go, he wants 8 for each one, so let's get 4, no, okay, man this is going to be expensive, okay, there we go, let's see if he unlocks the next set of trades, come on, See, so I thought it were, I had to go all the way up, but apparently not. Um, hmm. I don't want to waste all of my stuff on him, though. That's the only thing. Does he, does he unlock his new trades yet? Hmm. I mean... See, the thing is, the expert still has things to go, so, you know, can I still get <laughs> more stuff from him? I didn't think I could, but, hmm, right, well, what's in here? See, the master, yeah, the master can't get anything more, um, there's nothing really that worthwhile, that's the problem, <laughs> um, I do want mending. But I don't see. I don't want to waste five emerald and four pieces of glass. Like that's ridiculous. Um, well, let's get ourselves a clock because you know clocks always useful. And we'll get two. See if that makes him level up. Come on. You know you want to. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. Let's. Let's just gather two more. No? Uh, okay, he drives a hard bargain. We'll, we'll get that last clock. And he should now... Regenerate. No? <laughs> oh, this is so painful. Uh, let's gather some more glass. There we go. And there's still no mending books. What is going on here? Um, well, I mean, you get the general gist of it, guys. <laughs> it's going to be fairly painful to go through all of this stuff. But I'm going to go back and forth from the base, gathering um, as many resources as possible. And hopefully, um, we do actually get something worthwhile in the end. 
Oh, I'm probably going to have to build quite a few chests to fill up with all of the junk that we end up picking up. Um, obviously some of the stuff is genuinely useful, but the stuff we've got so far, not so much. Um, but yeah, let's, let's throw this stuff in. And I'll go back to the base, gather some stuff, and then I'll be back in a sec. Guys, so I cannot explain to you how long I've been, uh, I've been messing around with these villagers. It's really taken me the whole day, kind of thing. Um, as you can see, I go to each villager and all of them have got all of their stuff unlocked. And yeah, I went all the way to the end, unlocked all of the trades and all of them. No mending books. And then I ended up transporting villagers out, killing them, and then bringing in new ones. Um, but yeah, if we go to the end, you can see we finally got ourselves a mending villager. But he cost 30 emeralds. <laughs> Oh, I cannot describe to you how great but also frustrating that is. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to keep farming four more emeralds across these guys. And then hopefully I can get myself some more mending books. Um, we do actually have quite a lot of um, resources on us. If I open these shulker boxes, uh, you can see I've brought a whole bunch of stuff. I've actually emptied all of my farms of all the bamboo all the melons, bits like that, um, so yeah, uh, maybe could have gone slightly better, um, you know, I've traded away virtually everything I earn, I earned stacks and stacks of emeralds and now it's all gone, but on the bright side, we have finally got that mending villager, um, and that's all that really mattered, I guess, um, now I'm gonna try and get as many of these as possible, because um, as you can probably tell, I want to get mending on as many things as possible. Um, first of all, being the elytra, as those are imperative to make sure that I can always repair those bits like that without having to uh, use an anvil um, and bits like that. But obviously my neverite gear I want to be able to repair um, because obviously neverite is expensive and yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's going to take me quite a while, as you can see. I'm flying through all of these sticks which obviously came from the bamboo that I had and yeah I mean I don't even have enough <laughs> from almost a full shulker box to get two mending books which is crazy um there we go right let's get ourselves another mending book um so obviously we still have mending on the pickaxe so just make sure I've got all lined up um yeah obviously I'm gonna throw mending on all of these as well and the elytra, um, and then I've got to put it on the sword, axe, shovel, I'm not sure if there's going to be anything else that I need to put it on, but yeah, it's certainly a lot of, um, certainly a lot of things I've got to put it on, um, to make it worthwhile, uh, there we go, and the problem is I keep getting shut out of all of these trades, um, the only other thing I can think of is I get shut out of all of them, if I don't want to wait till daytime, or if I run out of all of the um, items, I guess I can get string from the spider farm. But even then, I think I'll get shut out of that pretty quickly as well. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of a lose-lose situation. Um, you know, it could go really well. It could also go really badly. Uh, let's grab these melons. Uh, I'm not going to need all that many. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, no more trades. What were you guys trading? I should probably max out the rest of these guys so I can unlock all of their stuff. Um, let's trade there. Okay, and then put these back in here for a second. Uh, we have got 62, but I'm going to work on unlocking all of the trades as I think that's the most worthwhile thing to do. So he's got all of his unlocked. Uh, I'm going to Oh, blimey, this is going to take away quite a lot of emeralds. Uh, right, there we go. And then, when he rejuvenates... Oh, that's frustrating. I was going to hope he was going to open up some trades. Uh, well, let's trade for pumpkin pie, I guess. Oh, come on. Rejuvenate with something that earns me emeralds. Yes! Awesome. We got ourselves the melon trade. Uh, there we go, take all of those, well, he didn't take all of them, but he took a fair amount. 
and then he gives us some bad trades. Okay, that's not so good. Um, hold on, is no, there wasn't anything else. Uh, okay, so we can't trade those of him. Maybe we can get some pumpkins going as well. Uh, this end, yeah, still no more melons allowed. Ah, oh, we can get a whole bunch of pumpkins in him though. Um, let's take some more pumpkins. Uh, what are you trading for? Nope. Nope. Hmm. That's annoying. Uh, oh, hold on, there's pumpkins at the start. I'm going mad. Uh, <laughs> there we go. And then, what's his trades looking like? Nope. And... Oh well, we we can trade some pumpkins, I guess, for emeralds. Oh, he's still got his trade open. I didn't expect that. I expected that to be all taken up. Uh, it will be taken up now, though. Um, okay, so let's throw those in there, and I'm gonna put the pumpkin pie in there for the, and the bread in there because I don't really need those right now. Um, but yeah, we got ourselves uh, almost enough. <laughs> for two more mending books um, and yeah this is the problem it just takes so long to do anything um, oh there we go uh, okay so we actually got three mending books out of all of that um, so we've almost got so we'll be able to get mending on our elytra and maybe our boot uh, either a chest plate and leggings or boots and helmet something's got to lose out here um, <laughs> at this moment but obviously I'm not going to let that happen, I'm going to keep trading with these guys, um, and I will probably keep trading um, until I've run out of things to trade, so uh, yeah, I'm going to keep trading with these guys, and I will see you guys in a second. And as you can tell guys, I've completely repaired all of my armour, all of my uh, tools, and now we just got to work on the Elytra. So if I hit these, there we go, <laughs> as you can see, we finally managed to repair everything. And this is not just a one-time thing, obviously, I can now use these XP grinders to kind of repair these whenever I feel like it. And well, that caused a lot of lag actually, <laughs> uh, step away from it for a second. Um, yeah, the great thing about this now is I can combine all of these uh, different like armor pieces um, with more enchantments and bits like that, getting them up to the best possible enchantments I can get and they'll still have the mending effect on them um, so unless I die in, say, well I can't even die in lava and lo lose it because Neverite is um, actually uh, like fireproof um, so unless I lose my items and they despawn before I get to them this set of armour and tools should now last me for the rest of the game so yeah, that's pretty awesome um, but that's all I have time for today guys, thank you so much for watching, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one, bye.